Hey Bronco Nation, I'm Jordan and well this this, this isn't a Bronco. This is the all new F-150 Lightning. We're taking a bit of a break from Bronco to bring you guys some special content. So special, in fact, that we brought out the flannel. So this Lightning, while it's stock right now, it's not gonna be stock for very long, which is why I'm going to introduce you all to Garrett from GRT Off-Road and Dirt Tires and Donuts Garage. You may recognize him from the video that we just launched with our new partnership from GRT Off-Road, but he just received this Lightning and we are going to do a bit of an overland build, document the whole process and show you guys the final results. So let's get into it. So as much as I wish this was my lightning, it is not, but it is Garrett's lightning. Now Garrett is the owner of Dirt Tires and Donuts Garage and GRT Off-Road. Garrett, thanks for joining us. Thanks for letting us use your lightning. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you plan to do to this? Of course, good to see everybody again. Uh, so what you guys probably know is I do Broncos, a lot of them, but I also do a lot of trucks. And so I've done quite a few of the power boost, trimmers, 250s, 350s, all Ford stuff. Uh, but I got my hands somehow on a new lightning and we are going to level lift it but we're gonna do something a little nicer a little better than just a puck as you guys know I'm not a big puck fan uh, we're gonna do some wheels tires and we're also gonna do a really nice camper shell with a tent on top by go fast so it'll be the first overland build yeah. for a lightning and see what happens. And without further ado, let's get into this. Start pulling it apart and upfitting this F-150 Lightning. I think it would be perfect. Look at that, dead on. I don't have to remove the sway bar in this, so I'll just loosen it here and we'll shove it up. We're gonna take tie rod, this off, take the bottom two out and the top. And this looks really similar to the Bronco, to be honest with you. And I've got that, yeah, it's got a, it's got a, like a progressive rate spring on it. See, these are heavier coils here. So these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are heavy. You can see how much bigger they are. And then you got one, two, three smaller. I mean, to me, that's what it's all about, man. I mean, that's the simple stuff, right? Just hanging the wheels and tires on it. But it just changes the attitude and look at the truck. So I spin that down to where it's just covering the end of the stud. And then I use a, use a brass hammer, so it's soft, and try to knock the tie rod loose. So then usually I'll just pull that out and leave this hanging on there. Go. 
this allows us to do is just rotate this back, pull this forward, see how everything's loose now. And then this one nut that I left on, that's why. Pull that nut out. There we go. Ford Lightning, front shock. So let's go see how close to the Fox this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it's an eleven coil, smaller diameter. I can't get my finger between these at all. And it has an adjustable body, so you can add or um, take away preload here. And believe it or not, this is from a 21 power boost. This is from a 22 lightning. And this is for 2015 to 2021. F-150s is what they say. I'm sure they're gonna extend that to 22 regular trucks because the kit comes with rear shocks that don't fit the Lightning, but believe it or not, this is a level kit. Got a ready lift puck on it. This gives more, a little bit more lift and a much better ride because of the rate of the spring and the, the quality of the shock itself. So we're gonna add this. I'm gonna put this on the lightning and see what we get. We may have to add preload, but we're gonna leave it how it comes. And how it comes, they say, is a, is a two, I think a two inch is what Fox and Ford Performance calls a two inch level. there that's just superficial just got to figure out how much we want to chop and what chop chop Sorry, lightning. We'll just clean that up with a file or with a diamond wheel.
So we have lifted the front end, or leveled it as people like to call it, with Fox coilovers. Um, we trimmed the front bumper and the front valence a little bit, and we cut the front crash bar out completely. And we have put 295-70-18 tires on this thing. And while my speed app on my phone says 46, I have the crew set to 45, but, well, there you go. Now it's 45 and 45, dead on. This tire, a 295-70-18, is 34.8 inches tall versus the stock tire is only 33 inches tall, so it's 1.8 inches taller, and it is 0.4 inches wider. Stock is 10.8, and these are 11.2. And I have done nothing to trick this thing into having the right speed. So, I don't know, must be calculating speed off of something other than rollout. I mean, 65 miles an hour, it's definitely noise that wasn't here before. Tire and I can hear the camper, because it ends somewhere right here, I can hear the, where the air hits it. But I mean, it's still smooth as can be. It certainly is more responsive steering. Absolutely feels like I'm sitting up a lot more. I mean, we're a little over I'd say probably three and a quarter inches taller in the front end, maybe an inch or so in the rear, just due to tire size. The camper hasn't blown off of it yet, so that's good. Okay, here it is. After a full day in the shop, 2022 Ford Lightning, wheels, tires, Fox suspension on the front end to lift and level, uh, go fast camper, did a little bit of trimming. We can kind of show you everything here. Decided to go with some Fuel 18s and a bronze and the new Nitto Recon Grapplers and a 295-7018. Uh, we did Fox coilovers as our level uh, on the front here. So this worked out great, big improvement. Mild cuts and changes in here just to clear everything. Just a little bit of trimming in the back. Uh, and we decided, you know, if we're gonna do it, let's do it right and we put a go fast camper with the rooftop tent on and we even got a little fancy in the wheels and did some apex quick air down valves for those long off-road runs and uh, she's awesome so we can't wait to get it out play in the dirt go camping sleep in it and it's all electric